All right, let's look at example two. We want to find the least common denominator, or LCD, of 7 over 150 and 11 over 60. And then we want to write each fraction as an equivalent fraction using the least common denominator as its denominator. So the first thing we want to do is find the prime factorization of both 150 and 60. So let's start with 150. 2 definitely goes into 150 because it ends in a 0. 0 is an even digit. 2 goes into 15 7 times with a remainder of 1. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 5 is not an even digit, so 2 no longer will go into it. But let's see about 3. 7 plus 5 is 12. And 1 plus 2, because we have the 2 digits 1 and 2, is 3. 3 goes into 3, so 3 will go into 75. 3 goes into 7 twice with a remainder of 1. 3 goes into 15 five times. Let's pretend that we, we are not sure whether or not 3 goes into 25. 2 plus 5 is 7. 3 doesn't go evenly into 7, so 3 can't go evenly into 25. But we know that 5 does. And so we have that 150 is 2 times 3 times 5 squared. Now let's find the prime factorization of 60. Two will go into it because zero is an even digit. Two goes into six three times. Two goes into zero zero times. So again, two will go into 30. Two goes into three one time with the remainder of one. Two goes into 10 five times. Five is not even, but I know that 15 is three times five. So we get that 60 is two squared, because we have two twos, times three times five. And now we can then look for the least common denominator I know that I have to have every one of these prime numbers as a base. So I have to have a 2, I have to have a 3, I have to have a 5, and we have the same three numbers on the other one. So that's good. Now for the 2, I want to choose the exponent that's larger. If there's no exponent written, that's an exponent of 1. So I've got 2 to the 1 power and 2 to the 2nd power. I'm going to choose 2. For the 3, I have 3 to the 1 and 3 to the 1, so I'm going to choose 1. And for 5, I have 5 squared and 5 to the 1, so I'm going to choose 2. And let's see what this number is. We've got 2 squared, that's 4, times 3 times 25. And I know 25 times 4 is 100. 100 times 3 is 300. All right, so we've got 150. What do we have to multiply 150 by to get 300? Well, let's see. We had 1, 2 in 150, and we had two twos in the least common denominator. So we have definitely have a 2. We have one three, we have two fives, so we just multiply by two. That's nice. Now what about 60? 60 times what is 300? Well, for 60, we had two twos, and we have two twos in the least common denominator, one three, two fives in the least common denominator, and only one five in the 60. So we're multiplying by five. And this tells us how to find the equivalent fractions. The first fraction was 7 over 150. We saw that 150 times 2 was 300. So 
I can multiply by anything I want as long as I do the same thing in the numerator and denominator. So I'm going to multiply by 2 over 2 because of this 2. I'm going to get 14 over 300. And then the second fraction was 11 over 60. I know that 60 times 5 is 300. But if I do something to the denominator, I have to do it to the numerator. Five times, uh, three, 11 times 5 is 55. 60 times 5 is 300. So we have our two equivalent fractions. 7 over 150 is equivalent to 14 over 300. And 11 over 60 is equivalent to 55 over 300.